You want some breakfast? Patches of me. Cuckoo ka -choo. There's blood on the shoe. Chicago. 1960s. Cosette, Schiller, Mellie, y'all too too stay. It's time to take a bath. Cosette, reach me that box of Mr. Bubbles. Y'all can pick out one toy to play with. And y'all bet not be splashing that water everywhere. Let me come back in here and water on this float. Y'all call me when the bubbles gone. Y'all get y'all tails out of that tub before you be wrinkled like an old woman. You want to be old and wrinkled like the old lady that lived in the shoe? But mama, the bubbles ain't gone. Cosette, just shut up and get your tail out of that tub. Here, take this towel and dry yourself out. Sheila, get out of that tub. Come here and let me dry you out. Uh-uh, mama. I don't like when you dry me off. You be hurting me. I know how to dry my own self off. All right then. Come on, Melly. Let me dry you off. Is your booty clean? Smells good to me. Y'all know y'all hair got to be dry by tomorrow so I can press it. Cosette, start combing out your hair while I grease and braid Sheila's head. Sheila, wake up. Cosette, come on here. It's your turn. Now y'all put your pajamas on. Mama, can you tell us some nursery rhymes? Uh-huh. Which one do you want to hear? I want to hear about the old lady that lived in a shoe. But mama, how somebody going to live in a shoe? Do that make sense? Cause it, it don't matter if it makes sense or not. It ain't your turn. Mama, then, can you tell us a story about a little girl from your heart? Only if y'all know how to keep your mouth shut and be quiet. All right. Here we go. A long time ago, Mama, you supposed to say once upon a time. Sheila, who telling this story? Me or you? You? Then shut your mouth. Shit. What? Nothing. Once upon a time, there was this rich little girl named Ella who lived in a castle. She didn't have a mama. What happened to her mama? She died. And her daddy married her mean old stepmama. Who had two little girls. Just like Ella. One was ugly. And the other one was fat. <laughs> just like Sheila. <laughs> ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Then that means you the ugly one. <laughs> Cause that Sheila. What I just say? To be quiet? Do it then! Anyways, when her daddy died, her stepmama started whooping her butt with her broom every day because she didn't know how to keep her mouth shut. She made her clean the fireplace every night and she had to sleep there too. Mama, she didn't have a bed. Uh-uh. Every night, she would fall asleep on a little chair. And the rats would steal her food. Mama, guess what? What, Sheila? When me and Cosette and Angie Mama spent the night over at Teen Helen's house, we saw a rat. He tried to get us. So we made a bridge out of the kitchen chairs so we wouldn't have to walk on the floor. Stanley threw some greens at him and cornbread and he ate them. We were screaming 
Then George Jackson asked us what we was crying about. And we told him that there was a rat in here. Cosette, what your Aunt Helen say? She said, she said, y'all stop all that screaming and hollering. Here come George Jackson. And he said, he said, where that rat at? Y'all better not be getting me up out of my bed. I mean, out of my bed this time of night for nothing. And then he said, what the fork? And he started screaming and hollering for Auntie Helen to bring him a bat. Mama, he beat the mess out of that rat. Her stepmama mean for making us sleep with the rats, ain't she, mama? Just like it was James. Shilla, why you say that? Do Evans James be hitting on you? No, don't be telling me no story. No, he don't be hitting on me. But mama, my daddy don't be whooping us. And he say the next time you whoop us, he gonna whoop you. Out, cause I shut your mouth. That was James ain't none of my daddy. <laughs> I will beat the mess out of you in front of your daddy. Then I'm gonna tell him to whoop your butt too. Don't think he won't do it. Make me sick, shit. Shilla, look at me. Why you say that? Cause he be yelling all the time. Just like Big Frank. He mean too. Mom, she ain't telling no story. Big Frank is me. He be yelling at Nissa all the time, and she don't do nothing. Cosette, do y'all let Lil Frank? Yeah, he do. All the time. But mama, Lil Frank bad. He be doing stuff. But Nissa don't. Nissa don't never be mean to nobody. Nissa ever tell you Big Frank be whipping her? No. You ever seen him whipping Nissa? No. Then shut up. Mama, guess what? Hall mean too. He be hollering at Angie Mama and he be whooping her butt too. He be whooping her with a razor strap at his barber shop. Shilla. What Millie's, Willie May say? She be whooping her too. Willie May say. She say she tired of whooping her. Then Angie Mama's butt, whooping Angie Mama's butt, makes her arm her. Then she don't want to kill her. That's because Angie Mama spoiled right. Just because a man holler at you don't mean he's mean. That's how men's talk. Now shut up if y'all want me to finish this story, do you? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mama. Can we eat a bag of popcorn while you tell your story? Anyways, Ella got all dirty cleaning the fireplace and she was covering in soot. Be careful y'all don't spill that popcorn. I ain't trying to be sitting in no popcorn while I'm reading this story. While I'm telling this story. Shoot. Anyways, what I say, Ella got all dirty, cleaning the fireplace, and she was covered in snot. Snot. Ooh, that's nasty. But mama, that sounds stupid. How do snot get in somebody's chimney? Soot, soot. That's the black stuff on the sides of the barbecue grill. Cosette. I swear you is killing me. Now shut up. When her stepsister saw her, they started laughing at her because her clothes was dirty from the suit in the cinders. Mama, what cinders? Ashes. Ashes from the wood. Like cigarette ashes. Oh. And they say, look at Ella with her Dirty black seal. She likes to play in the cinders. And they begin to call her Cinderella. That's how she got her name. 
Y'all get it. Cinderella. Uh-huh. They had to send it to her name. Mama, I get it. Me too. Her stepmama gave them everything she owned. Even her toys. Show sure did. She didn't even have no shoes. And she had to eat what they left on their plates. But mama, what if their food fell out of their mouth? Did she have to eat it then? Uh-huh. Ooh, that's nasty. Because that's everything nasty to you. But mama, who want to eat food out of somebody else's mouth? Nobody do. That's why I tell y'all to be licking nobody else's sucker or taking their gum out of their mouth and chewing it. That's nasty to me. Now shut up. Her only friends was the birds that lived in the attic. One day, the king and the queen decided to give a ball and Cinderella wanted to go, but she didn't have nothing to wear. So the birds Open all the trunks in the attic, and they found Cinderella's mama's wedding dress. Was it pretty? Like Daddy made wedding dress on your picture. Uh-huh. And when she went, she wore a mask. But the prince could still see that she was pretty. At midnight, Cinderella and the prince had fallen in love. He didn't want her to leave, just like you and there was James. But she had to go, because she had to beat her stepmama and her stepsisters home. So the prince had the castle guards pour honey on the steps, hoping Cinderella would get stuck and never go home. But it didn't work. And when Cinderella ran down the steps, one of her slippers got stuck in the honey and came off. Mama, can we have something to drink? Uh-huh. Only if it's enough for everybody. Cause it. You go see. It's enough for all of us. Mama, tell Sheila to come and help me. Sheila gonna help her. All right. Mama, here go yours. And pooches. She'll hit go yours, and I got man's. All right, y'all. Really, you want some? Here you go. All right. So the prince said that he would marry the one who fit the slipper. He searched all over the kingdom, but he couldn't find Cinderella. So he went to the last castle left. Here, Mary, you want another slip? There you go. Where was she, Mama? Tied up in the attic. But Mama, why didn't she run away? If it was me, I'd run away. And I would have smacked a mess out of her stepsisters. Who <laughs> we go sad? Child, huh? you is too much. That's why I don't nobody like playing with you. You can't keep your hands to yourself. Y'all gonna let me finish the story or not? My show getting ready to come on. Mama, can we stay up and watch Ed Sullivan with you? Sure. What you think? The only thing you gonna be watching is the back of your eyelids. Now be quiet. You talk too much. Psst, Sheila. You gonna be watching the back of your eyelids. <laughs> Cosette, what? I didn't say nothing. Hand me my glass. <laughs> Anyways, Mama, can I have some too? Here you go, Mary. Anyways, the stepmama called her two girls and they tried to shoe up, but it was too small for both of them. Mama, I bet you could fit Cinderella Sipper. <laughs> Cinderella should be too big for me. So the stepmom ran in the kitchen and grabbed a butcher knife and cut the toes off the one whose foot almost fit the slipper and blood went everywhere. Now the shoe fits 
and you can marry the prince. And she told her to go to the prince who's waiting at the front door. Mama, why she do something like that? Because she crazy? Ain't that right, Mama? Shoot, that's why I would have ran away. Cosette. But the birds saw, and some flew to the attic to untie Cinderella, and the rest flew all around the stepmama and the other stepsister's head, and they poked their eyes out and killed them. Like they did that school teacher and the birds. Uh-huh, just like that. They both was dead. Mama, I'm scared of birds. Me too. Me tree. Ha, 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 ha. Y'all is killing me. Shoot. Sure. Anyway. The birds flew out of the kitchen to the front door and flew all around the prince's head, singing, Cuckoo ka choo, there's blood on the shoe. Cuckoo ka choo, she is not the one for you. Cinderella is the one for you. And the prince and Cinderella got married. Mama, next time, can I pick out the story? I don't care. I want to hear about Rapunzel and Little Red Riding Hood. I can be Rapunzel because I got long hair. Ain't that right, Mama? Mama, I want to hear nursery rhymes. Can you tell us about the farmer's wife who cut off the three blind mice's tails in a dish that ran away with the spoon? Uh-huh. Marilyn, who you want to hear about? Little Miss Moppet or Little Bo Peep? What you going to do? Help her find us, sheep? Uh-huh. Y'all come on here and give me some sugar. Say your prayers. And get your tails back in that bed. Good night, sleepyheads. Don't let the bug bugs bite. I love y'all. Mama, we love you too. Mama, can you leave a crack in the door? No. Y'all go to sleepy land. Shit. I'm the one who got to get up first thing in the morning. Because y'all be talking about, Mama, we want some breakfast before you wipe the boogers out of your eyes. Shit. I love you. Good night.